Hey guys, welcome back to the office tour for February 2015. This is my second time recording this, so hopefully this one will be better. Had a bit of an f-stop problem. So this one, I'm gonna give you a tour of what's been going on um, since you last saw this in July. Now, just bear, please bear in mind that since we did this last, um, reviewing has gone extremely positively, positively, and um, there's a lot more stuff in this room, and obviously I don't really, <laughs> have anywhere else to put the stuff so it's rather cramped um, and it does look a bit cluttered but I'm doing the best I can um, so <laughs> we'll go left to right like we did before and uh, waz through it as quickly as we can because there's so much to cover um, using the rotor light sound and light kit as well the rotor lights facing forward um, and the mics facing backwards so hopefully this should work um, so yeah right left side this is where all my storage is for review stuff um, it's mixed with stuff that I've bought as well, like things I've done already there, um, some in the drawers I've done, and a few things coming up. Things I've bought, like the Logitech Performance MX. That's the uh, the mouse for the, the YouTuber mouse, basically. All the guys that edit and uh, will know how good that mouse is to use. Um, running through a few things we've got here. There's a few speakers, um, a few networking products in here. We've got some inner tech stuff, uh, some batteries, this one here, it is only a £9 IKEA unit by the way, very cheap, uh, but it does the job. Um, this houses my audio visual kind of stuff, um, so the Zoom H4n, SM58, that's my live event stuff. Um, and then of course I use that when I test uh, speakers as well, give you a sound sample. Uh, the Editor's Keys SL150, that's my old mic, that's always there, that's a backup. Um, in case anything goes wrong with the SM600, SL600. Blackview Sports Camera, there's a video on that coming soon, but it's a bit faulty, so I'm trying to iron stuff out with that first before I put that review live. And there's some cable management stuff for when I sort my desk out. Um, up this top, we've got the grip for my camera, which is currently making it spaz out, so I've taken it off. These are always good to have as well. The ISO, the ISO should adjust accordingly. Um, but yeah, always good if you need an extra bit of light. That's a mouse that fell down um, that I need to make sure I edit my address out of. Um, down here, some some the Studio Series cases. They come in nice, hard cases, so uh, that's those to make sure they're protected when they are in transit. This is the rotor light stuff as well, the windshield and bag as well. Uh, some odds and sods, Gorilla Pod. That's the SL600. Recently reviewed that as well on the channel, if you want to check that out. But that's the latest and greatest Studio Series mic and uh, what I use for basically every voiceover. This allows me to uh, USB, you know, so it's really easy. And you've got headphone monitoring on there as well, which is always good. Um, this drawer here is stuff I use pretty much um, during the week. Basically, if I go downstairs in an evening, um, my phone's a bit low on battery, I'll pull out the soundbag charger. Or maybe the anchor one as well, I think it's flat, yep. And uh, use that to charge it downstairs. There's my Samsung S watch as well. Uh, Clips R6 earphones, I use this at the gym. And then uh, the rest of it is a load of adapters and stuff like that. So that is a um, micro USB to HDMI adapter. You'll see why I've got that in a few weeks time. Uh, there's a Sandberg solar power bank as well. Phone stands I use for reviews. Just general odds and sods that um, get used the most. Right hand side just houses all the plethora of batteries I've got. I always like having loads. So 9 volts for the rotary light. Double A's for the uh, um, LED lights. And some more batteries for my camera. Battery tester. And then the triple A's are for anything that uses like noise cancelling headphones stuff like that and then there's some cables that connect my uh, like hubs and uh, that white long USB is for when I get my new desk to make sure it all matches up say no more yet um, over here we've got a swan camera that I reviewed recently this is the uh, monopod from Manfrotto if you need a monopod look no further this one has basically um, it's got feet on the bottom. Let's try and do this with one, one hand, one foot. 
and uh, once you put those out it will literally free stand um, it's an absolute beast it's got a fluid head on the top it's uh, the code is the MVM 500A that's the one free stands it goes literally taller than me as well I'm six foot seven so it goes absolutely humongous and uh, the fluid head on this is just an absolute joy to use it's what we use when we go to events and uh, it's also got a fluid base on it as well so you can get really smooth side side pans if you want to put it over there out of the way um, and then the, this unit is practically stuff that I've reviewed that's just being stored or used people ask why I don't sound my stuff um, it's basically because if I want to use it again um, for comparison purposes then I can do uh, most of this stuff I use anyway um, I haven't got that much stuff that you know I've got duplicates that I don't need um, I'm still pretty much using everything um, so give you an idea this is just empty boxes these ones because I'm using these things here um, these are the Vmoda XS headphones best small pair of headphones I've used um, then we've got the IT7S2s and X2s and the uh, VTX sound from O-Tone but yeah these are all empty because I've been using these things um, so they stay there these drawers are atrocious as well by the way um, cables, boxes, crap and then pretty much the same in the bottom and then a few cleaning products as well to keep things clean down there um, those ones are just electronic bits we won't go through that same with the Hoonigan uh, cupboard that's basically stuff that I'm being um, that's I've done that's being stored um, and there's a few there's a few bits and bobs like uh, that's just accessories uh, ink for my printer just general crap um, next along we've got the review table these are photo sale light boxes over here they're only 85 watts um, I do need to get some 125 watt bulbs at some point uh, but it will do for now and uh, this is what rules the show I'm currently recording with the 600D just a kit lens for this this job um, but this is the 128RC head on the new 190X Prob 4 uh, tripod and uh, it's an absolute monster this tripod one thing I really do like is the way you get it to the top Let's see if we do this one handed push this button and then it will go that way and then you can push it back through so basically you can do bird's eye view so easily which is really cool um, it's great for uh, getting reviews of tablets and things like that because um, yeah just go directly over overhead which is always good if you want a shot like that uh, there's the old tripod down in the corner don't use that anymore and then there's another tripod there and the uh, DV 235 slider as well from Glide Gear. Don't really use that very much, but it's there if I need it. God, I need to catch my breath. It's difficult, man. So, uh, this is my desk. I don't try, I try to keep it as clutter free as I can, but there we go. So, yeah, some Coke. Uh, that's the ZD10 from Alan Heath. That's when I use the SE2200 Mark II, which is over here, because that's XLR. So you need to run it through that. Um, but yeah, that's there if I need it. 50mm um, 1.8 from my Canon. Everyone has to have that lens. I think basically it should include it in the box because it's one that you need to have if you own a Canon camera. Make it a law, be something easier. Uh, those monitors are just 23 inch LGs. I bought them at different times as well. That's why they suck for um, color calibration because of different ages. Um, one thing that's annoying with companies like that, they always bring them out so often that you can't get a decent colour between them. So yeah, uh, IKEA desk, I think it's the Galant desk, I can't remember. That's my Note 3, that's my daily driver. And uh, Performance MX from Logitech, new mouse. Always really, it's really good to have, everyone should have that mouse. Um, there's a light there from Taltronics. Uh, hinged up from my MacBook as well. iPhone 5C. Um, I only really use that for Fling. That's a bit of a weird app. And then uh, Lumia 930 as well. 
There's going to be a review on that really shortly as well. Um, Kingston memory card reader. After this, it's a bit generic, really. It's a bit boring. Uh, up here is my like little speaker and MacBook box. That's the Nude Audio uh, Move Owl speaker. I basically put the best speaker I've got on the shelf, um, so there's nothing that's beaten this yet. I think I reviewed that in November as well, so it's been a while and nothing's pushed it off. So uh, I'm starting to wonder if anything will, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, it's a very, very good speaker. The speakers, by the way, um, that's the MGT444 from Sony. The controlled Majoggy Majog is down there. Um, it's a disc, uh, free disc changer, I think. But I basically run it through that RCA input there. Um, it's a Samsung uh, ML 1910 laser printer. My other TP-Link router, which has currently been replaced by the Archer C9, which is down here. It's an absolute monster. Um, the Wi-Fi range is absolutely insane on that as well. That's the sub for the Hi-Fi. Um, some memory cards but apart from that the desk is pretty bare my pc is a 950 i7 by the way uh 4.2 gigahertz um a 24 gig of ram 760 tie graphics card two terabyte hard drive there's an ssd in that as well um it's a monster when i need it and also uh some jack daniels for after i've done the work uh, iPad 2, that generally is be just gets used by my mum to check emails. I will probably get an Air 2 somewhere this year as well. Um, what else? The drawers, is, this, is, this is just like general crap in those drawers now. I don't really keep much in there. A couple of keyboards in that one. This is the STM Velo 2 as well. This is what I just take, up, take with me when I go to the coffee shop. Got an editing keyboard in there. Um, what else we got in there? Cut there, got too long. Uh, pluggable battery, that's just for if I need it while I'm out and about. What else we got? There's my pluggable uh, network adapter in case I need it from a MacBook. And uh, the MacBook's actually in here as well. I never showed you this last time, so uh, let's probably do it this time. So yeah, it's the 15 inch Retina, uh, late 2013. 256, 256 card, 256 gigabyte hard drive, SSD, sorry, 8 gigabytes of RAM, it's the quad core uh, i7, 3 gigahertz, I think it is, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it's always good. And that is basically there to go in my hinge dock like that to charge up. When I've sorted that out, somewhere. Um, but yeah, I think going over everything quickly, and that's it. Because I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I know people like uh, setup tours, and I wanted to do a new one. The aircon, this all used to be different. I used to have a few things down on the floor. My air conditioning unit was there, but since it's now February, I don't need it, so we moved that. Um, and then, of course, when I started to get more stuff to review, I needed more space and storage. So we got those two units, customised it with the old Hoonigan branding. And, uh, and yeah, so it's all right. It's pretty good. Um, I just need some more room, basically, now. That's all I need, and we'll be good. We're good and, good and dandy. So, yes, thank you for watching this, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Any feedback, do let me know. And uh, I'll see you all again in the next video.